Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to numerically compute the contact radius. As described in the SimCafe website, contact area is essentially the area that is covered by both the contacting objects. Now initially, as stated previously, the contact area will be initially zero because it's just a single point. However, throughout the loading process, this contact interface will grow to a finite value and we will be able to numerically compute that value as well. So what you first need to do is you need to copy command which is presented in the website or actually right above this video in the SimCafe. Once you have that saved, you will open results. So double click on results and first we need to create a name selection for this edge right here. So to do this, you click on model and if you click on model on the top you will see these options and here you see named selection so click on named selection and here we're going to rename this CNT underline press underline edges now it's important that you get all of the spelling correct this is because the code that you will implement very soon will make use of this so therefore it is very important that you correctly type this CNT underline press underline edges. Now for geometry you will select the this edge, the boundary edge, click on that and hit apply. Okay so you defined the name selection that will be used very soon. Next what you need to do is you need to tweak some of the options in the analysis settings. More specifically you need to change two things. First you go to analysis data management and if you expand analysis data management and here you will see save M APDL DB. So you will change this to yes and once you've done that you need to change another thing which can be found in the output controls and here you will see contact miscellaneous contact miscellaneous and you will also turn this to yes. Once you've changed these two settings you will then write the command that will compute the contact area. So here once you click on solution in one of the options you will see this, this icon C that stands for command you insert command so you click on that and you will see that this one appears. Now these with the exclamation points are just comments. We don't really need that and if you remember that we've saved all of the code we will now paste that into this command and so we can just get rid of the previous commands and with all of that selected you will uh, paste it. So that includes all of the commands that will be used to compute the contact area. So once you have that, now you can click on solve and you will now see, if you click on commands, you will see my contact area and it reports 3.3018 E negative 6. Now be careful because this is really the area so if you were perhaps interested in the contact radius that can be computed by knowing that area equals pi r squared. That's because we're looking at a circular area. We can imagine that the contact interface is going to be in the shape of a circle. So just do realize that that's the contact area, not the radius, but the area. So that's how you compute the contact area.